Welcome to my humble abode. This is the kitchen that I have been using for the last month whilst we've been away. We're gonna get straight into this. It is super quick and easy. I would even say we could put like a you know shot clock on and just see how quickly we can make this. Not gonna go that far today though. To begin with, we're gonna quickly chuck up our onion. So I'm gonna start with that and then we'll move on to the next step. So I cut it using three different angles. So the first one is straight down. So we're gonna chop down. And as you can see, I'm not going all the way through to the end. I'm actually gonna leave about a centimeter and then making sure I have my bare claw as well so that I don't chop my fingers off. And then sometimes I find it easier to do it this way because then it holds the onion in place. So that's cut number one. Cut number two is through the side. So you're gonna come through without obviously chopping our fingers off and we'll just come through the side. And then the third cut is straight down. So like a bear claw and we're just going to do it like this. And so we're gonna chop it in half all the way through to that centimeter. And then pinky and thumb on the outside, three on top bear claw and you're just gonna dice it like so. Okay, so we are going to add our onion to the pan and we're just gonna lightly saute that. And what I'm trying to do is just cook that onion off a little bit so that when it goes into the mixture, it's not completely raw. Okay, so if you ever have heaps of things like a lettuce or a spinach leaf bunch, um, to make it easier for yourself, what you can do is actually roll it up into a ball and then as you chop it, it makes it so much easier to actually get control of. Like we did with our onion, we're also going to do the same thing with our garlic. Alright. Okay, so when we've got it to this point with our garlic, what's really nice is to have it minced. We don't want really big chunks of garlic through our, um, our triangles. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt to it and it's going to help to emulsify that. We're going to use the back of our knife to actually emulsify it and almost like scrape it. So you'll see I'm just going to add a little bit of salt and what I'm going to do is use the pressure on the two fingers on the front of the knife, my hand at the back and I'm just going to use the weight of my hand and also the knife and try and mince that garlic a little bit. Into our mixture. Doesn't sit very hot. I just don't want to cook it. So we're going to mix that all together. It's just going to chop our feta into bite sized pieces. It doesn't really matter because we're still going to crumble it in, but it's nice to have it in slightly smaller chunks. We're just going to crumble it in a little bit. We still don't want to have it really small chunks. We want to have some small, some bigger. I really love to add some lemon zest, so I'm gonna add some of that in as well and a little bit of the juice as well because it's always super delicious. So I'm just gonna get the rind. If I had a lemon zester, like a microplane, that would go down really well. And you can see this like yellow um, skin and then you got the white pith. So we wanna get rid of that white pith. So you just very safely hold on to one end and then you just run your knife along. Finally dice that. A handful of this. And I've just gone for the Parmesan and Pecorino mix together because I just think it adds a nice sharpness. So I'm just going to whisk these eggs up and we're going to add half of it and the other halves are going to be used to cover and um, add it to the actual top of our puff pastry. Just going to add that egg to help bind it all together. So we've mixed everything together and we're going to pop a small amount, about a tablespoon's worth into each uh, puff pastry sheet. Then we're going to roll it up and we should be able to get eight out. And then I'm just going to safely pop that over and tuck it in so that all the mixture is inside. 
You can see I've got this blue piece of paper. I'm just going to peel that off. And then we're going to squish down the sides. And sometimes you can use a fork because that's a lot safer. And you can just actually make a little bit of an indent on the sides, which just makes it really easy and pretty as well. And then what we can do is actually get some egg wash, you're fine, and just brush it with egg wash as well to help with glazing on the top. And that's one done. Ready? Oh, yum! They look delish! Probably too offensive. It's like, you guys are banging up here. How far is it? It's nine hours.